Cisco Multi-Cloud Defense, Gateway Deployment and Policy Enforcement, this time with Google Cloud. Now we continue with the centralized security model. So in this exercise, we will deploy a security VPC with ingress and egress gateways. This architecture is based on all best practices listed by the cloud provider. Ingress gateway, pod 33 in our case, dash ingress dash GW dash GCP inspects ingress traffic. So traffic from the internet to web servers. This architecture uses GCP external load balancer as a front end. The users on the internet uses the GCP gateway endpoint IP address to access pod 33 app one. Now egress gateway pod 33 dash egress dash gateway dash GCP inspects east west traffic. So pod 33 app one to pod 33 app two. And it also inspects egress traffic from pod 33 app one and pod 33 app two to the internet. In this architecture, we use GCP internet load balancer for east west and egress traffic. Let's get started. So we're in the interface of Cisco Multi-Cloud Defense. Let's click set up and secure your account. Now we've got centralized and distributed models. As mentioned, we're gonna do the centralized model here. So we'll go ahead and give a name to our VPC slash VNet pod 33-SVPC-GCP. And we'll go ahead and grab our Google account for our cloud service provider and then our region. In this case, it's US East 4. Now we have a data path and a management CIDR block. So we'll go ahead and give addresses to both. So 192.168.33.0 slash 24 and 192.168.133.0 slash 24. Availability zones, we're going to pick US East 4A. I only have one in my lab environment. Obviously, you would have multiple availability zones and you would select them all here. Again, this is going to act as the central security point to protect all of our VPCs. Click Next. Done. Now we just need to add the gateway. So again, we're going to pick GCP for our account, our service VPC VNet. You can see active pending. We just need to refresh that until it's ready to go. And there it is. We'll go ahead and select that. Instance type will keep the same. The gateway service account we've already identified here. And I've added it. Ingress, east, west, egress. We're going to use both. Pod 33 ingress gateway dash GCP is the ingress gateway name. And here, let's go ahead and drop down and search for pod 33 and ingress policy. Let's go ahead and select that. And again, we'll change the name for east, west and egress gateway. And Again, we can use what's here or we can search for it. This is act actually correct. So we'll go ahead and select next. And that's it. Bam, success. All right, let's go to manage gateways. And we'll go ahead and just look for Google ser service provider. And we can see one is enabled. Oh, they're both active pending. We're good to go. Let's go ahead, manage and inventory. And we can go ahead and just search on Google Cloud Provider. We'll go ahead and select VPC Nets. And we can see here's our two pod 33 app dash one. We can go ahead and secure now. We'll go ahead and select our service VPC. We'll send traffic via multi-cloud defense and we can see the change in policy from the default internet gateway now forwarding to the multi-cloud defense gateway. We'll go ahead and hit yes. 
we'll close this out and let's go ahead and refresh it's already secured and we'll go ahead and do the same for pod 33 app 2. so again service gateway make sure we have the routing going to the multi-cloud defense gateway and again, this is all being done by Cisco Multi-Cloud Defense. You don't have to build these. This, this entire VPC is being created. We'll go ahead and hit yes. Close this out. Refresh. And that's it. We're secured. But don't believe me. Let's test it.